for the first time in 40 years. The rookie head coach and the magical veteran point guard, Stephen Curry, the MVP of the NBA, is going to play in the finals against a four-time MVP. Class and sportsmanship from the MVP runner-up. Series only went five games, but a hard-fought five games. A lot of great stories within this series. Great play. Give this Warrior team credit. The best team all season long and looking to finish the deal. Let's check in with Doris Burke. Clay, it looked early in this game like the nerves were setting in. What is it like trying to manage a game when you know an NBA Finals is at stake? Uh, we were all nervous and anxious. I've never been so excited to come to the arena in my life today. And, uh, man, I want to be out there so bad. I, I didn't play that small of the fouls. But I'm so proud of how these guys finished. It, uh, it was special to see. Uh, we deserve to celebrate tonight, but we still got unfinished business, and it's been a long time coming for the Bay Area. Despite the fouls, you seem to have found your offense over the last couple of games. How did you do that? Staying patient. Uh, I never let miss shots, you know, deter me from what I'm good at. And uh, I'm just proud of everybody on this team, this organization. You know, like I said, we deserve to celebrate this tonight. You know, get our rest. And, uh, man, I can't wait for next week. Unfortunately, I'm on the side of that right ear. How does that ear feel right now? What's that? I said, unfortunately, I can see that right ear. How are you feeling? Man, I'll be all right. Uh, a little dizzy, but um, we got a week off, so uh, close to it. I'll be all right. I'll get my health back. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, Bill. Jubilation here at Oracle Arena. As Clay Thompson and his dad, Michael Thompson, the former number one pick. Enjoying the moment. The finals will begin Thursday, June 4th, here in Oakland as the Golden State Warriors will host the Cleveland Cavaliers. Coverage will begin at 8.30 Eastern on ABC with NBA Countdown and the tip-off shortly after 9 Eastern. Final score here in Game 5. The Warriors 104 and the Rockets 90 to win the Western Conference Finals in five games. Stay tuned, we'll have the Western Conference trophy presentation coming up on SportsCenter. For Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, Doris Burke, producer Tim Corrigan, director Jimmy Moore and our entire crew, Mike Breen saying, we'll be back to return to Oakland for SportsCenter after these messages. gentlemen please direct your attention to center court for a very special presentation and please welcome ESPN's Doris Burke with us tonight 
to present the 2015 Western Conference Championship Trophy is a man who 40 years ago, almost to the day, helped win this organization an NBA championship, Mr. Alvin Adels. I think the remarkable thing about the noise inside this arena is that these fans have been this loud through thick and thin. I'm not supposed to be biased here. But this is an organization that even when you entered as a rookie had its periods of struggle. What has been the driving force behind where you are right now? I mean, we want to win and bring a championship to the Bay Area. They've been so diehard fans for so long. And they deserve it. Um, I was just talking to Draymond D. Lee. Two years ago, we were sitting on this court after a second round loss to San Antonio, thanking them for the support. Fast forward two years later, we were four wins away from the goal, so this is pretty special. It should be noted that your ownership group, Mr. Lacob, Mr. Goober, your general manager, Bob Myers, but most importantly, your head coach, Steve Kerr, wanted this moment to be about your teammates, you and the guys. What does that say about Steve's leadership and his humility? He, he's, uh, he's done a great job taking over this team and taking us to new heights. So um, We've worked so hard all year to put ourselves in this position and just blessed to, uh, to be on the cusp for something special. And we're going to keep pushing. Winning generally requires some sacrifice, Steph. <laughs> you have guys on this team who have been starters their whole career. All-stars, David Lee, Andre Iguodala. What have they done to help this team achieve such a special season? Sacrifice. Everybody sacrificed something, a part of themselves, to make our team better. And you don't get here with just one, two, three guys. It takes all 14, 15 guys. And, um, we're going to enjoy this because every single one of these guys with a hat on has been a part of uh, part of this journey. You are the reigning 2015 MVP. This next part may not go as well. But in a matter of days, a man who will play in his fifth straight finals and has won four MVPs will make his way here with the Cavaliers. What are you expecting from your group? We're going to be us. We're going to play our same game. and. Uh, defend like crazy, push the tempo. Obviously, they have a, a, some uh, experienced guys that have been here before, but, you know, why not us this year? Steph, congratulations, and congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. Mike Green. These fans have been amazing. It's as loud as any arena in the NBA right now. And they watch the team go 39-2 and two at home during the regular season. And had just one home loss in the playoffs. That was game two against Memphis. And now they head to the NBA Finals for the first time since that man, Al Adels, led them to their championship in 1975. And you heard Doris mention LeBron James and the Cavs. And the boost start, started early. And that series will start and again next Thursday, right here at Oracle Arena. The MVP, his first conference final, and played some of his best basketball under the bright lights of the conference final. This is one of those nights where the fans just don't want to leave as Mark Jackson gets a nice embrace from Draymond Green. And you know, Mark, you, you see, we see this all the time, these players coming over that you were part of and part of building up this. What's going through your head right now? Well, proud. At the end of the day, proud. And Jeff, you see the way this team has come together. And again, at both ends of the floor, that's what's so special. Yeah, they, we've got the Splash Brothers and, and the three-pointers and the high scoring, but their defense 
has been a key, and their defense tonight was sensational at times. Well, Mike, you don't get to this level without talent and habits. A lot of teams have talent in this league, but very few have championship habits. The Warriors have championship habits, and that's why they were the dominant team this year. And, you know, when you combine great talent and depth with the right habits, you win big in this league, and that's what we've seen. Well, now the habits will continue in the finals against the Cleveland Cavs. And right now, the Warriors aren't thinking about that. They split the season series, which obviously doesn't mean a heck of a lot. James didn't play in the one game at Golden State, each team winning on their home floor. But in terms of the matchup, Cavs are a team that has really come together with the additions and the unbelievable play of LeBron James. Well, it's going to be a great series. And the reason why is because you're talking about a team that was the best team in basketball that has the MVP for this season. And then the other team that clearly was the best team in the Eastern Conference and had the best player in the world. I think it's going to be a heck of a chess match for rookie coaches. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's exactly what the fans uh, were hungry for. And, and for me, Mike, I, I'm looking at Kyrie Irving and his health. Kyrie Irving does not have to take, when healthy, a backseat to any point guard in this league. He's going to have to be right. He's going to have to be great. And he can be if he's feeling good. And when you put those two guys on the floor, they're tough. And I love Tristan Thompson, Mozgov, J.R. Smith, and Shumpert, what they have brought to this team in Cleveland. Going into it, I, I thought the Warriors would win easily. I think it's going to be a better series than I thought four weeks ago. Well, both teams, of course, have MVPs. The current one and the four-time one that's in Cleveland, but both have great role players as well. Ashley Curry enjoying her moment with her dad. Uh, Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals for the first time in 40 years. Right now, it's time for Sports Center. We go to Steve Levy. Mike, thank you.